decided that I would start some Christmas shopping. Mia and I are out on a foraging walk. Five months old today. This is Mia's first time of ever seeing Santa Claus. Tonight, they are turning on the Christmas lights. Woo! Merry Christmas! Planning to go out tonight with one of my friends. It's minus four degrees. My little ankles are freezing. I'm gonna film because... <laughs> but Ingmar's husband saw it. Or do you want to tell the story? I'm gonna tell you, okay. you just said Ingmar's husband. <laughs> December from this little polar bear. Yay! Baby's first Christmas. Mummy is super, super excited. Yes. Yes, you're only interested in the camera. You're a little pusser. Mwah. Mwah. So I'm in the charity shop and decided that I would start some Christmas shopping and I've come in to have a little look at what there is for Mia and I got a bit excited. I've ended up with a trolley full of stuff. So here we go. I'm buying one of these um, tabletop play things because she can hit this with her hands and not really move them around but that would be noisy and exciting for her to look at. And then this tower of blocks which is colourful and then there's loads of building blocks here. Oh, the city is in the distance and the sunset, tiny little bit of it. And this is the waterfall over here. So I'll try and drive and film and <laughs> not have any accidents. <laughs> I'm only joking, obviously, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to put the brake on here. There we go. And this is the amazing waterfall. Christmas if she'll let me film, look at these Christmas trees. It is beautiful in here. Mia does not like when I stop. Okay, we'll keep going. Mia and I are out on a foraging walk. We've come to pick up some cones to do some um, kind of winter Christmassy decorating in the apartment. Um, I've got millions of layers on underneath this coat. I look huge. <laughs> it is a little bit chilly and I have a bit of a cold and she's super rugged up, but we're enjoying the peace and quiet on this walk. Your mummy does all these crazy things, you're just gonna have to put up with it. <laughs> Get used to a life of craft. But we're basically here to pick up some cones, so I'm just looking for the freshly dropped ones. I take them home in a bag and dry them out. Look at this little girl. <laughs> she's playing with the card for her little monthly photograph. But Mia is five months old today. Yay, five months, baby girl. Yay! And to celebrate, she had two shots. Two jabs. Mm, painful. And then a nice long nap after playgroup. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! My gorgeous girl. My gorgeous little girl. Look what we found. Ooh. Hey, it's that polar bear friend. Yeah, mwah. Oh, Mia. Yay. And socks. <laughs> nice clean car. Thank you very much, Ingemar. And some very, very cold looking hills. So, this morning, we're going downtown, or kind of semi downtown. We're going to a cafe where there is going to put on the steering wheel warmer, seat warmer. Turn up the heating, get nice and warm. <laughs> it is, what is it? Oh, zero degrees. There you go. So this morning we're going downtown or semi downtown um, to a cafe where they're having a Christmas market and we're gonna meet one of my friends there. We're running, yeah, no, we're on time. We're gonna head down, meet her and I'll show you around. This is Mia's first time of ever seeing Santa Claus. He's over there. <laughs> It's very clever. He can speak all languages. <laughs> We're all dressed up like Eskimos. Oh, Santa's coming! Hello, come down. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Not only did we see Santa for the first time, kind of, um, but Auntie Brittany gave Mia her first 
set of Christmas pajamas, which is super exciting and I cannot wait to dress her up. I already dressed her today in kind of wintery clothes. I'll show you in a second. Um, but we don't really have a Christmas wardrobe yet, which is going to be something that mummy will probably not be able to control herself when we hit the shops, when we go back. Um, but for now, I'm frozen from just walking around a little bit and having a little dance to that music. Uh, but we're going to head home and see what daddy's up to and get warm again. So these are the pyjamas that Auntie Brittany just gave her. Look at them. They're so gorgeous. Ingemar, look. Yes. She's got a little ski outfit. <laughs> so cute. I cannot wait to put these on her. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want some myself. We could have matching pajamas. Here's some Icelandic Christmas music for you. Has to be the, what's that high pitched noise? Is it part of it? Yeah, it is. Weird. Anyway. The joys of Icelandic Christmas. It's a bit weird. It's not it's not joyful and happy like we might be used to. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm putting a downer on the Christmas. It's more I find it a little bit scary. Especially the Yule lads. But anyway, we have to get into the culture for dear Mia. Um presents in the shoe and all sorts of things, other than stockings. Yeah. But she'll probably end up with both. I don't know. We have to cross that bridge when we come to it, which is in a couple of weeks, I guess. Um, but yes, off subject slightly. I am heading downtown. Well, I'm heading to Reykjavik University to pick up one of my friends. And then we're heading downtown because tonight they are turning on the Christmas lights, which is super exciting. Um, it will be dark in no time. There is a beautiful pink sky. The mountains are covered with a dusting of snow. Um, it's minus three. I have my cashmere on and Mia, poor Mia, is in so many layers. She's probably going to roast a little bit but I am just taking no chances because I think I'm going to do the buggy and not carry her, um, like wear her in the Ergo Baby just because oh, I just feel like I'll get too tired too quickly. So yeah, I'm going to push through people with the buggy and be that mum. That's what I'm talking about. Snug as a little cute bug. <laughs> there it is. Super strange. It does look just like rich. a penis. Yeah. Though. How weird. Aren't hot dogs all little penises anyways? <laughs> this massive traffic jam. We're in a we're traffic in. jam. There's never a traffic jam in the whole of Reykjavik. <laughs> we decided this is this everybody's way. going to the light tonight. Yeah, weird. There she is. <laughs> Hello. She with she, a this is, keep driving around and that can be the warm way of seeing yeah. the Christmas lights turn on. And it's the whole city of Reykjavik here right now. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's the whole population. So that's the parliament. There's the stage. And there's the tree. We just join all the buggy gang. <laughs> I think she's got the right idea. I'm absolutely frozen. Look, my nose has gone red. I'm so cold. I don't think we're going to last very long here. Surely we're just doing like a big countdown. Oh, there's a little kid. Oh, maybe he's going to press the button to turn them on. Oh, I'm not tall enough for this. And hey. Doors. Yay! Let's put these little doors back in before they escape. Mmm, a little monster dinosaur. A monster dinosaur. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yes, mwah, mwah. Are you catching kisses? Mwah. Yay! Right, where's that other foot? Give me the other foot. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Pop them inside, look at these toes. Aren't they just far too cute? <laughs> Who's gonna win, Mummy or Mia? <gasps> Mummy won. Mia can win all the other things. Mummy wants you to be nice and cozy. Yeah. Oops. Yes. Excuse the nappies and stuff down here. 
Look at this gorgeous girl in her gorgeous little outfit. <laughs> Isn't it just so cute? And show you the reality of life in Iceland. So this is 10 o'clock in the morning and it's not actually light yet. We have been up since, I think, 20 past five was this morning. But we have had another nap since then, so that's pretty good. This little one, mwah, we read two new books this morning, which was so nice. We played with the crinkly covers of the book and we had a lot of time playing with her little monkey toy. And then we had another feed and she was exhausted enough to fall back to sleep for another hour and a half. So we had a little nap together, which we're trying not to make a habit of, but daddy, poor daddy, he was good through the night and helped out lots, so he deserved a sleep on his own this morning. So we're having a lazy morning because it's winter and we're semi-hibernating. And it's also Monday morning, so why not? This is my advent calendar. Yay! This is my advent calendar and this is what we're gonna open every single day well, we're going to open the first three days today up until Christmas Eve or Christmas here in Iceland. Yeah, that's another confusing concept where we have Christmas on two separate days. So you have two Christmases. Um, right, we need to find number one. Here's door number one. And it is... <coughs> it's a reindeer. I think... Our Um, yes, planning to go out tonight with one of my friends. Uh, we're going to like a craft workshop thing, which is free. And that's probably the only reason we're going is because it's free. Um, but it means I get out of the house for the evening. We can put Mia to sleep. Put Mia to sleep, put her to bed. <laughs> Ingen Bar can put her to bed. I have pumped an entire bottle, very proud of this. A whole bottle. This is three sittings to get to this point and feed her as well um, but this means hopefully a night out and a whole night where I don't have to get up and then work and feed her and I can sleep yes right I am ready for my night out the little one is down she is kind of asleep I can work and check on her in a little bit and he's just preparing a bottle <laughs> please be very careful with it Liquid gold. <laughs> it's, like it's not even for the camera's drunk. It's minus four degrees and I decided to brave it. I don't even know if you can see. My little ankles are freezing. <laughs> you've got you've got exposed ankles too. You're colder than me. Christmas. Oh, look at this. It's magical. A mum on the loose. We made drawstring bags at a random workshop with a woman who was really quite <laughs> off put by us or me rather because I knew what I was doing probably more than she did <laughs> and everyone in the workshop thought I was actually the teacher and Brittany doesn't want to be in the vlog so I'm now just speaking to myself on the street She's holding alive. a camera walking around Christmassy Reykjavik and it's been snowing it's not see it's not cold it's like no, minus four but I've acclimatized. This is good. But yeah, we're heading home because Brittany tells me it's a skill night and I shouldn't get too carried away, even though I am enjoying myself. They do miss me. I've been quite good in not talking about her all night long. <laughs> but yes, I will go home and I'll see if she needs fed. I'm sure Ingemar has it completely under control. He only messaged me three times with an update, which is not really what you want to know. Other than if she was okay. Yeah. Right, one glass of wine, that's my limit. I'm going home, says Brittany. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Snow! Bro! I'm gonna film. Because Everyone else is an idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, could... we keep seeing points that I really want to have captured, and they're oh, just too funny. And you know what? Now... I'm one way, but I think if I back up. I think, I think we're good. Let me just put very here. <laughs> no, we can't. Don't <laughs> take tips from my driving. <laughs> Yesterday there was one parking space and it was at the end of a one-way street. I shouldn't publicize this. Do it. So I reversed up the street I to get to the, the park. Way All again. I did was go around the corner though to park on the first part of the street. No, now you're in a car park. I this know. is the road. I, just, I don't know where I am. This is the smallest city. <laughs> but I get basically, lost. 
my thinking was that I wasn't really driving illegally because my car was always facing in the right direction. It was fine, there's no traffic. Now we're really going on a tour around the back you, streets. You missed, yeah, you haven't been around oh. here so long, I just wanted to show you what you're missing out on. <laughs> so, my friend who doesn't want to be on camera right now is Brittany. We used to work together. She's from America. She has just informed me that there are not just one flavour of Oreos, which on a side note is Engbar's favourite biscuit, but they're not even that good. But anyway, they're not really biscuits. <laughs> Her face right now is a corker. She tells me there's six flavours. Um, excuse me, I did not tell you there were six. I told you I brought home six. So are there, there more than are, six? There are tens of tens. What? Tens of twenties. See, I'm, I'm all about the Kit Kat being different flavours, like green tea Kit Kat. Interesting. It is interesting. It's well, really good. How about apple pie Oreo? <laughs> what? Rocky Road. That could be good. Yeah, it had little bits of marshmallow. Marshmallow is good. Okay, so we're just passing. Where is it? Oh, did we pass it? Did they no. change the name to Mac On? Oh, no, no, no. I think it's, no, I think no, it's no, gone. No, 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 don't tell me. We need to be yeah. in the right hand lane. Okay, so we just passed a place, a shop. It is a shop. We know it's a shop. But Ingmar's husband saw it. Or you want to tell the story? I want to tell you that okay. you just said Ingmar's husband. <laughs> I smell snow. Little baby me has snow for the first time. What is all that white stuff out there? Your garden's gone white. It's quite hard to vlog, walk, carry baby. And now, I have to wear trainers because obviously we're not organised enough with the snow boots out of oh, anything yet. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> and the second one. Yay! And now I'm going to find the ice scraper thing, turn everything up to full blast, find the ice scraper and clear the car. I didn't do too badly. <laughs> But we've made it. There's the top of Helgrimskirka. I'll probably get copyright for that music. And of course, Mia there has fallen asleep. We've arrived at church and they've got the Christmas decorations up. Look at this. It's beautiful. And the organ looks amazing. There you go, Christmas and Hagemskirka. And this is what the pews look like. And then these are the four candles of Advent. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> there you go. This is so cute. I've got the hiccups. <coughs> and so <laughs> Mia started getting the hiccups too. Okay, ignore the cables behind her. Obviously, we will be tidying and sorting out the general space so it's baby proof. But look at this girl. She's sat having a little picnic with her books and toys. It's like she's got a little desk. Hey. Have a holly jolly good you. Woo! Hey. <laughs> Yay. We're just leaving the Canadian ambassador's residence. So future Mia who might be watching this video, I've just taken you to the ambassador of Canada's residence for hot chocolate um, and Christmas carols and this is how you acted the whole time so we've just had to leave it was lovely though and all, you know it's a difficult environment for any baby to be in but there was lots of twinkly lights to look at but it didn't work so we're going home now so this morning Mia might actually know what she's going for <laughs> today is her early because we're flying home on her birthday, like six month birthday, but today is her six month checkup with the nurse. So unfortunately it means that she has another jab coming 
um, but they're gonna wear and measure everything and yeah just kind of do a little checkup so hopefully it will be all good we have arrived for Christmas yay look who's at the Christmas tree I caught you, didn't I? I caught you talking. Yes, yes, Mrs. Drill a lot. 